So I'm heading down to a radio control airplane event where they uh, have some of the top pilots flying these big fancy airplanes. It's going to be awesome. Uh, got out of work a little bit late this evening. And uh, so it might be dark before I get there. My buddy Barney's already down there. He went down yesterday. And uh, so he's uh, been enjoying it. So he's already filling up even on Thursday. So we just showed up and this guy is having fun with that airplane and he just hit the ground and it looks like he knocked his rudder or one of his elevators or something. His rudder hanging. Oh, showing up. Thank you. I think that's supposed to come off. Man. So they got some gumbo here. Oh, man, they're hooking us up over here tonight. Get to watch car airplanes fly at night, crash, eat gumbo. Doesn't get any better than this. Forty by eighty. Slept good last night. It was uh, got down in the 60s, so I just turned off the generator, save a little gas, so I don't have to fill the darn thing up as much. Did good. Came out this morning. It's about 7:30 now on Friday morning, and they are already I mean, full flight line. More folks coming. Mm -hmm. Set up just on the other side of the extreme flight, guys. I already saw an airplane flying down there off in the fog. They're getting after it. They still have the lights on, got the speaker system. It's gonna be a fun day, fun weekend. Gonna have plate lunches. That's the one thing they say there is gonna be plenty of food. There's the pilot stations. Bert selling some food, uh, some uh, airplanes down there. Some guys are looking at it. Met Bert yesterday or last night when I rolled in. Super nice guy. He's trying to get rid of some airplanes. Just like me, he got too many. Gonna be some big planes. I recognize that plane. Hmm. Another set of lights and speakers. Everybody getting, starting to wake up. Getting the porta potties all freshened up. This is gonna be huge. That old Predator 3500, that's a popular generator. Matter of fact, I think Barney just got him one too. That's what he was showing me last night. So I'm set off over there on the back. It's okay, I'm just right by the highway though. Somebody came, came by this morning with loud brrrr. About 6.15, woke me up. That's about time I need to wake up anyway. Fill her bag up, huh? Yeah. I was just noticing there's some other Predator 3500s down the way. Hey, just, several. Heck yeah, that's a popular model.
food truck. $15 for a burger and fries. Oh man, this kid was having fun with that airplane and it like died or something right above the ground and he just, oh, he just buried it. I don't know, they're having to carry it off. Oh, picking up pieces. Mm. Walk of the flight line. It is kind of long. So we'll try to catch it in pieces here. Barney down there. I'm about to go back and visit with him here in a second. Finish getting our flight line video done. Oh. Now with Barney and Keith, oh. Mr. Larry. Some gentlemen get locked up on it. It did work. Dude right there just flew the snot out of that plane.
stationary. You can't pull it. Just got him a new airplane. So I left the doors and the windows open, got the screens open, got the Skylight's open, and although it's 90 degrees outside, it actually feels pretty good. Got that one open. So, no more leaving everything closed up and having to run the AC during the day for me. There's Mitchell Cherry. Barney just gave me this water. It's a kiwi strawberry. That tastes good. Feeling up with people now. Parking way back here. Flight. All these RV8s are gonna go up at one time.
just let me fly that plane. Very smooth flying airplane. Spiegel. The prop spun up and hit that man in the butt. Then <laughs> the airplane kept going. It's done. It, it, it went way down there past Spiegel. Of course, we got Spiegel. Oh, yeah, just get all up in the way, Steve. There you go. I wanted to come this year. I just had to go. Oh, I just kept Spiegel tossing in. Radiant.